The Solo Sandem Foundation launched a photo exhibition on transitional justice and human rights awareness on Tuesday at the National Museum in Banjul. The exhibition, which features photographs and testimonies of torture victims, aims to highlight the importance of seeking justice and accountability for torture victims. It also aims to create a deeper understanding of the human rights violations that have occurred in the Gambia and to emphasize the urgent need for remedies in the transitional justice process. The Nekadi Death Exhibition be next for um, highlight multidimensional effects of torture. Um, come Ninko explaining. So basically, that is saying we're doing this exhibition to highlight the multidimensional impacts of torture um, on various um, people from different and uh, diverse backgrounds. But um, that is also part of our initiative in the transitional justice process and also in fulfilling the TRRC's uh, recommendations on memorialization and also educating um, the next generation. At the opening ceremony, the mayor of Banjo City Council, Rahim Ali Glow, says that the photos of Solo Sandeng and other victims at the museum mean a great deal to the Gambians. We are so proud. Even though this is not the way we wanted to have Solo in our museum, but again, we are also grateful that the, the National um, uh, Center for Arts and Culture has agreed to have this exhibition together with the Solo Sending Foundation. And we will all agree that the Solo Sending Foundation has been made, making a lot of change or impacts to the life of the victims. The assistant director of the National Museum, Mamad Salah says that the National Center for Arts and Culture is mandated to document and preserve the history of the Gambia. We hosted new in all our heritage sites to be able to you know, visualize all the portraits of, of, of these victims has, that has been affected during the 22 years of the former president, Yaya Jame. Mr. Salah also talks about the importance of the exhibition. The, the, the visual aspect of, 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 of these people that has been tortured by showing their pictures. And you see, um, the importance of photographs. Photograph is a very important tool that gives us messages and can easily tell stories of people. And at the same time also, it also helps you to document something that has been already been done and is also, is also in the past. So it will help us to be able to document this, this thing. And I think the photographs that are shown here, even looking at them without text, you will definitely see some of the stories that has passed through these people. The Solo Sandeng Foundation was established in the memory of Solo Sandeng, a prominent Gambian opposition figure who was arrested, tortured, and killed by the Gambia government in 2016 for leading a protest march. The foundation aims to promote democracy, human rights, and social justice in the Gambia. Solo Sandeng was arrested on the 14th of April 2016, detained and tortured at the NIA for leading a peaceful protest demanding proper electoral reforms. He died due to the severe torture method on him. Mr. Sangdeng's arrest and subsequent death in a state custody prompted a nationwide movement that served as a catalyst to end the 22 years of dictatorship rule in the Gambia. Reporting for Kirfatu, 